Throughout our lives, we learn that the solar system is a set of planets circling the sun in perfect flat rings, all aligned on the same plane as if they were floating on an invisible disk. That's the image we see in books, school models, and even TV documentaries. But what if I told you that view is completely wrong? That the solar system isn't a fixed, flat, static model, but a living structure in constant motion, crossing space on a huge path through the galaxy. The truth is the sun is never still. And if the sun isn't still, then the planets aren't just spinning around it in circles. They're moving with it, following a three-dimensional cosmic dance that changes everything we imagined about the shape of our home in the universe. In the models we learned as kids, the sun sits in the center, unmoving, while the planets quietly orbit around it. That model is useful for teaching the basics, but it's only a simplification. In reality, the sun is traveling at about 828,000 kilometers per hour around the center of the Milky Way. And as it moves forward, all the planets, moons, asteroids, and comets go along with it. Picture the sun as a cosmic locomotive cutting through space and each planet as a car attached by invisible cords of gravity. As the sun moves, the planets orbit it, but they're also being pulled forward. The result is a magnificent spiral a helix of worlds and moons spinning in perfect sync as they follow the sun on its galactic journey. The sun completes one lap around the galaxy every 230 million years. This period is called a galactic year. During that time, the solar system covers a gigantic distance, about 240 million kilometers, while orbiting the center of the Milky Way. In other words, the solar system never returns to the same place. Even when Earth completes a lap around the Sun and you celebrate your birthday, the Sun has already moved millions of kilometers ahead. This means that every second the entire solar system is advancing, and we are literally traveling with it through space, never passing through the same point in the universe twice. This is one of the most fascinating ideas in modern astronomy. The solar system isn't a flat, static disk, but a moving vortex, a living spiral traveling within another spiral the galaxy itself. If the sun is in motion, then the planet's orbits aren't closed circles. They turn into helical trajectories, like stretched springs in space. Imagine you're holding a rope wrapped around a stick. Now move that stick forward. What happens to the rope? It forms a spiral, and that's exactly how the solar system behaves. Each planet traces a different path, but they all follow the sun in a formation that looks like a luminous helix. Earth, for example, completes its yearly orbit, but does so while moving through space along with the Sun. In other words, the planet never returns to exactly the same spot. It draws a new curve in the vastness of the cosmos, moving forward every second. The solar system doesn't move in a straight line. As it advances, it also oscillates up and down relative to the galactic plane, as if it were surfing a giant wave of energy and stardust. This oscillation happens every 30 million years and is so subtle we can't perceive it, but it's happening all the time. Scientists believe this wave-like motion may have affected Earth's history. Each time the solar system crosses denser regions of the galaxy, the amount of radiation and cosmic dust increases, and that can alter our planet's climate. Some researchers even suggest this cyclical movement may be linked to mass extinctions when comets from the Oort cloud were nudged toward Earth by the gravity of other stars. The Sun is like the core of a gigantic, moving gravitational field. Its pull keeps the planets bound, but all of them are being carried together through the galaxy. So, when we look at the solar system from a fixed point in space, we see something very different from the school model, a three-dimensional whirl of planets following a moving Sun, leaving invisible trails of light behind them. This view completely changes how we understand our position in the universe. Every second, Earth travels about 230 kilometers through galactic space. In a minute, we've already gone nearly 14,000 kilometers, and in an hour, more than 800,000. That means while you watch this video, the entire solar system has surged tens of thousands of kilometers toward the unknown. Now imagine something even bigger. The Milky Way itself is also moving. It travels through space at 2 million kilometers per hour, drawn by other galaxies and by the gigantic Virgo galaxy cluster. In other words, the Sun moves within the galaxy, the planets move around the Sun, and the galaxy moves through the universe all at the same time. This means there is no fixed point in the cosmos. Everything is in constant motion, 
The solar system is like a cosmic ship spinning and surging ahead on a journey that never stops, sailing through an invisible sea of stars, dust, and dark matter. The Sun, and all of us, are traveling in the direction of the star Vega, in the constellation Lyra. That's the path of our galactic journey. But this trip is so long that it will take millions of years before the solar system noticeably shifts against the background of the stars. During that time, the constellations we know today will fade, new stars will take their place in the night sky, and Earth will be in a completely different region of the galaxy. This realization changes how we see time. While we think in decades or centuries, the solar system thinks in millions of years. It's a scale of motion that makes everything we know feel fleeting. Civilizations rise and vanish while the sun keeps moving, carrying along the worlds that orbit it, silently, for billions of years. The idea that the solar system is flat and fixed comes from our human need to simplify the incomprehensible. But the universe is anything but simple. Nothing is still. Not the sun, not earth, not you. Every particle in the cosmos is in motion, following invisible, complex trajectories. Space isn't static. It's an ocean of energy and gravity in eternal transformation. Even the notion of up and down doesn't exist outside Earth. In the universe, directions are relative. The solar system's up is just the direction the sun happens to be moving at the moment, and down is the opposite. On cosmic scales, everything is motion, and everything is interconnected. If we could leave a glowing trail along each planet's orbit, we'd see the solar system as a whirlwind of energy spiraling through space. Smaller planets like Mercury and Mars would draw tighter helices, while giants like Jupiter and Saturn would trace broader curves. All of them would follow the Sun, forming a beautiful, harmonious 3D cosmic dance. This visualization has already been recreated in digital simulations, and it's one of the most mesmerizing images you'll ever see. It shows that the solar system isn't just a group of planets orbiting a star. It's a moving organism, part of something even bigger, the galaxy. Think about it. The point in space where Earth was, when you were born, no longer exists. The entire solar system has already moved billions of kilometers since then. Every passing second, we're crossing entirely new regions of the galaxy, bathing in radiation and particles that have never touched Earth before. We have literally never been in the same place twice. Each year, the planet completes one lap around the Sun, but the Sun is already far from that previous point. Every new year is also a new cosmic address, and that's one of the deepest ideas modern astronomy offers us. We live in a universe in constant transformation, where nothing, absolutely nothing, repeats. Understanding the true shape of the solar system is more than a scientific detail. It's a shift in perspective. We're not standing still in some corner of the galaxy. We're aboard a moving ship, traveling in a spiral through space along with billions of other stars, each with their own planets and stories. It's a view that can make us feel small, but also part of something grand. Every second, the sun moves forward, and with it, we do too. And even without noticing, we're part of an epic journey that began 4.6 billion years ago and is far from over. Maybe the greatest lesson in all this is understanding that the universe is eternal motion. There's no center, no end, no stop. The solar system is a spiral spinning within another spiral, and we are its passengers, looking at the sky and trying to grasp what lies out there. When we look at the stars, we're looking at the past. But at the same time, we're traveling toward the future, a future where the sky will be different, the stars will have shifted, and the solar system will be in another region of the galaxy. And who knows? Maybe one day, a new civilization will look back and wonder where we once were, never imagining that, while everything changed, the sun and its planets kept turning, pressing on through the silence of space. If this video made you rethink what the solar system really is, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications. Here, our journey through the universe never stops, because space is always in motion. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.